faithful and welcome to Talking Touchdowns. The 49ers suffered another heartbreaking loss the other day and they are now 0-5. Next up are the Washington Redskins in the nation's capital and this is a game with storylines. If you can't have wins, you might as well have storylines. Let's take a look. Kyle Shanahan was Washington's offensive coordinator under his father and then head coach Mike Shanahan. When it comes to the Shanahans and owner Dan Snyder, baby, now they got bad blood. So this should be fun. Washington quarterback Kirk Cousins is San Francisco's heir apparent QB1 next season, so expect every completion, turnover, look, glance to be analyzed. So far this season, Cousins is 80 of 121 for 1,004 yards, seven touchdowns, one interception, and a rating of 107.6. His team is two and two. Compare that with 49ers quarterback Brian Hoyer, who's played one more game than Cousins. He is 115 for 194, 1,211 yards, four touchdowns, four interceptions, and a rating of 75.8. His team is 0-5. Like I said, heir apparent. Another storyline is former Washington and current 49ers wide receiver Pierre Garcon, who has been Hoyer's right-hand man. He had another strong showing the other day with 94 receiving yards, as did Marquise Goodwin with 116 of his own. They will have their hands full with the Josh Normanless Washington secondary. Even with Norman out, the Washington secondary boasts a lot of depth with Quinton Dunbar and Boshad Breland. That must be really nice. As you all know, the 49ers secondary is a mess. Need I say more? No, I need not. The normally solid 49ers front seven had a rough day on Sunday, missing coverages and giving up 159 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. However, they are facing a Washington run game that has suffered from poor performance and poor blocking. Fingers crossed. But if you're looking for bright spots, and I'm looking for bright spots, rookie tight end George Kittle. He had a clutch performance the other day. He had a touchdown to send the game to overtime and was seven of nine for 83 receiving yards. I'm telling you, this team is not as bad as their record suggests. The 49ers are overmatched in this game, but football is a game of emotions and emotions will be running high on Sunday. You guys, let's win this one for the Shani. It'd be awesome if he got his first NFL win in DC. Go Niners! I'd like to remind everyone that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Click the link to learn about what the NFL is doing and how you can help. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 49ersFangirl.